This video is sponsored by Gravix Talk. Hello guys, what is up? Tar Artist Movie here with another super pretty exciting tutorial and today I'm gonna be asking you one question. So for example, one day you got a client who told you to shoot a beauty shot, but the problem is the sky was so boring. Well, what you gonna do? No, no, get that out of your head right now. No, 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 no. Don't you call your client and reject the project. No, 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 no. Especially if you're a freelancer like me, it's a big no. No, 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 no. All right, do, do not reject the client. Do not reject the project just because the sky is not that, that exciting. Where's the money? Wait, 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 the food. Wait, money for the food. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's a no, no. It's, it's a no, no. Get that out of your head. No, no. <laughs> anyway, kidding aside, the solution is of course to use a visual effects and today we are going to be using After Effects for that and the effects gonna be called a sky replacement and here we go. <laughs> So here we are inside After Effects, and as you can see here, this is the original footage, and it looks so boring. Look at the sky, it's, it's all white, it's, it's, it's flat, it's boring, and boom, boom, with some effects. Look at that. <laughs> There's a lot of changing here. The sky is now charming, the footage is somehow looks beautiful, and it's not as boring as my life anymore. Uh, <laughs> Alright guys, so, um, but uh, also, as you can see here, if you uh, just scrap through here, you can see that the sky is kind of following the movement of our footage here. So that means I'm also I'm gonna be teaching you how to track the footage. All right, but before we start it, I'm gonna be uh, talking about something here. If you guys work for a commercial project, of course you don't want to download or use something that you think is free, like uh, download some footage or, or images from Google, for example. Well, it's copyrighted, guys. It's it's somebody's work. <laughs> you cannot do that if you want to work for something that commercially, you know. And uh, here comes graphics talk, you know, where all of these pictures here you know we got like photos illustrations vectors all of them all of them is completely free copyright it's like copyright free so graphics talk is uh you know uh, they has the largest unlimited download library of graphics photos and factors and also it has more than 300,000 graphics photos and factors and images and also guys there's a seven trial seven day trial and it's free of course seven day free trial then uh, with that you can download 140 pieces of content or you can go to for, for their annual plan which is like $99 to download like like uh, 300 and thousands and pluses of images and and all of all of the stuffs here just download it all <laughs> for 99 dollars and it's completely free copyright so of course if you work for commercial project well boom graphics talk <laughs> all right so for this tutorial i'm gonna type in cloud and boom you can see a lot of clouds here and for me i'm gonna choose this one so this one and then i gonna download it and after i download it just go to after effects and here's the the uh, footage just click and drag it here to create a new composition and boom there you go our footage and uh, I'm going to uh, just trim it for now boom boom uh, so it's not gonna be that long uh, there you go and by the way to click B to you know like this and then end to uh, from the end side to the uh, uh, marker site here and then right click and trim comp to work area to trim it if you want to trim it and then uh, go to effect and presets and on the effects and preset if by the way if you don't have effects and preset right here you can go to window and click uh, effects and presets so in the effects and preset just type in um, luma key and then click and drag it into your video boom and then don't forget to put the sky images or, or the clouds images below your footage boom and then on the effect of your uh, footage which is the luma key uh, change the key out darker to key out brighter there you go and then from for the threshold here you're gonna punch it up until you see everything but the sky just before you overdo it so as you can see here boom I overdo it just before you overdo it like so so make sure you but but make sure though you put the luma key effect on your footage not on your images which is below the footage so uh, but we got a problem here as you can see here if you zoom in in we got some kind of uh, aliasing just ugly it's ugly basically so you're gonna go to effects and presets again and now you're gonna type in mate and then uh 
we get a bunch of things here <laughs> make sure you choose the refine soft mate and then click and drag it to your footage and boom it's done it looks so incredible of course not <laughs> um, <laughs> now we have to color correct our sky so go to and uh, make sure you click on the uh, sky footages or the cloud footages and then go to effect color correction and for me by the way I'm gonna use hue and saturation and for me I'm just gonna match the uh, master lightness here so I'm gonna punch it up until I think it's good I, th I think it's really really good I mean, look, look at it look at it really good or probably you can just trim it a little bit just like so and look at that look at our sky oh beautiful but we got another problem as you can see here if we scrub through the sky is not following the movement of our camera of course so we have to track it so go to your footage and for me by the way I'm just gonna turn off all of the effect first again and then go to just the beginning here and uh, we're gonna track the footage so go to tracker if you don't have tracker in the right side over here you can again go to window and make sure you click the tracker so it will you know just pop up the tracker window and then go to track motion boom and then we're gonna track the furthest thing on the planet <laughs> I'm just kidding the furthest thing on the your, on your footage that are or that is not moving and for me it's just the lamp right here so just move it to the lamp boom boom bam boom boom and there you go <laughs> and then before you start tracking uh, we're gonna create uh, the target which is we're gonna create a layer new no object boom no object is to you know it's like a, a place to uh, keep all of the uh, tracking data later and then you uh, back to the tracker here and then click the edit target and set the layer of the target to no and then click OK and then we can start tracking boom and as you can see here is tracking the lamp because it's the lamp obviously not moving so it's good <laughs> boom and then click apply Chicka boom boom bam boom boom and click OK and now as you can see here this is the null by the way and we're just gonna close this and as you can see here it's not moving look at look at the null it's like it's following the movement of the camera but we don't need to see the null so we're gonna turn off the null and then we're gonna turn back on all of the effect and also our background footage which is the clouds and then make sure you click this the parent if you don't have this probably you on this side you make sure you click toggle and switch modes here boom and then oh by the way oh you got you got it <laughs> you got it in both in both modes all right so <laughs> make sure you click this and hold it click and hold it and then go to null so basically what it does uh, you, you kinda tell the uh, the cloud image here to follow the movement of the null which is already tracked with all of the which with which already got all the tracking data as you can see here now boom it's done the sky is now following the movement of the camera and that's it guy that's it guys and that's that's that it's it's done <laughs> that's is the easiest sky replacement with uh, After Effects I hope you find this useful back to the studio Alrighty guys, so that's it. I hope you find this tutorial useful as usual. Thank you for liking and sharing this video and also for subscribing and see you in the next school videos and tutorials. Terror Arts out! <laughs>